What's up guys and in today's video I'll be showing y'all how to make a ability system in Roblox Studio. So this won't be one tutorial, it will be many. I will talk about how to make a map, how to make like VFX and animation. I'm not a fan of VFX or animation, I'm just a scripter. But I'll try my best and show y'all. So let's get to the scripting and what we should do. So first open your explore and properties tab. How about going to view and pressing these two? Then what we gotta do is have a VFX pack, which I have right here. Uh, how you can get it is by going to your toolbox, search VFX, just like that, and it should be right here. Now let's get to the scripting side. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to replicate storage, press this plus icon and add a folder. We're gonna name the folder We're gonna name the folder abilities and then inside this abilities folder add another folder and call it time stop. So my ability, as you see, it's time stop. So when you um, click a button or like click a part of your keyboard, let, let's say F, um, it'll do this ability and it will stop the time or it will like freeze the person uh, that you just clicked. You know, I'll, I'll explain it later. <laughs> I can't explain it right now. Then inside this time stop event, um, then inside this time stop folder we're gonna add a remote event name it time stop events and then inside this time stop folder we're gonna add a animation now i've already made an animation it doesn't look that well if you want to get to animate you have to add a rig and uh, you can put as R15 or R6. I put as R6, which means it has six body parts. So then, what you have to do is you have to press the rig and go to animation editor. Press it, boom. So this is my animation. It does not look that well. And set your animation priority to action. And uh, we're gonna publish it to Roblox. Save and copy this id which gives it to you copy boom close close and inside the animation uh go to animation id and paste it just like that then we're gonna name it strange uh strange anim i don't know a name good name for it so i'll just name it that then again we're gonna go back to replicator storage press this plus icon and add another folder now this folder is for the events that will happen in the game. So let's add a remote event instead of the events folder and put it as light lighting folder. I mean lighting events, my bad. Just like that. Now let's get to the uh, local sign, which is the player sign. Later. Now let's get to the service script side. So go to service script service, press this plus icon and add a script. Then paste this script in the description down below right here. It's a really big script. What do you mean by that? Now um, you've got to make sure that the names are correctly and I will name them. I will put these right here, these two, and I will like say you can change this or you cannot. Okay, so let me just do that quickly. And also, I wanted to tell you that um, this script is only made for the um, time stop. As you see, it's, it 
getting the parts inside the player anchored which if i want to talk normally it means that the player cannot move um, but what you can use is you can use the magnitude and the unit and all these right here and the player Wait, what you can change is right here uh, you can make it like a combat uh, all of that but i'll just don't touch it i'll explain it and teach you guys how to do it so now uh let me go back to tank okay so now that it's good to go um I'm gonna explain these service script side, which is the script. So these are events, and this turn means that it's about the light lighting, and this is the range. Uh, it's really useful for the magnitude. So, I, like, let's say I get the magnitude of something, and if it's smaller than that range, uh, the max distance and the range are the same. Forgot to delete them, but I don't want to touch the code. And then local enemy folder is, it's not a folder, it's a table, but I didn't want to change it again. It's a table where um, it will get the players that are in the game and uh, put them in a table. And in that table, it will get the closest player when you hit that F button. And it will see if it's smaller than 15 or 10. Let me see. Yeah, it's, uh, this is not, this is nothing. Yeah, the range is not useful. If it sees if it's like uh, smaller than 10 or equal than 10, and then it will do the uh, anchorage, which means it will not make it will make the player not be able to move. And then uh, this is for the lighting, and this is the bait. And again, IV anchored equals false. It will make the player be movable again. Now, uh, when the player is anchored, it will not do any animations as well. Now, let's get to the uh, lighting inside study character scripts, add a local script. And you can name it as lighting, just like that. Now, what we're going to write is local. We have to go to test and local server and two players and then start okay so now uh, it's ready and as you see if I have my back on the player it won't work as you see and if I go really 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 far let's see, just like that it won't work now if you go to 10 studs I don't know how much 10 stud is so let's say this Okay, closer. Go here. As you see, I go to this. The player cannot move. And then after a while, the screen turns to normal color and works. Now let's say I got time stopped. I can time stop the other player as well. But my screen does not change. It's a really cool effect. And thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.